This is North Tattnall Middle School. At some point in your life, you're going to be up for a scholarship. You're going to be up for um, a job interview. There's going to be something that you want that somebody else wants as well. And I want you as a North Tattnall student to be able to have practice and been there before and be able to present yourself in a real positive and strong way. But I've seen a couple of you in a row now, like you're sitting and you're this or you're this. I've got a really good example in a minute, but I want to encourage you to start practicing now getting comfortable with your hand motions. You want your hand motions to enhance what you're saying. So if you're presenting somebody, you might go here, you know, um, but like this is, oh gosh, I'm so nervous, I'm about to die. You know, try to work on right now, adding that to as well, okay? Because what we're saying is pretty good. We got to say it with our body language as well, okay? Um, wow, I think you're the fastest kid in class. Thank you. I couldn't help it without my coaches. My coaches really helped me, like, get faster in the time. They made me work even harder than what I was supposed to because I feel like I was giving up. But Coach Eubanks helped me and made me build up my confidence. And that's why I thank all my coaches for it. Boom. All right. I really, here's a lot of good things that she did. Let's give her a round of applause. Okay. I think you can all agree with me that that's next level. She, she took what I said instantly and was comfortable doing that. Her body language enhanced what she was saying. Also, she cited Coach Eubanks specifically. I'm not sure that anybody has done that yet. Um, saying my dad, I think, probably counts. But she said Coach Eubanks specifically, not just my coaches. So that's what made that next level. Now, there was a slang word that she busted out in the middle of that. I'm going to caution you again. So when you're given a formal interview like that, um, but I was about to quit or something, I, I think is what she said. You said. Make sure you want to really enunciate that and say, I was about to quit. Okay? Yes, sir. Good. No, but you're just by far the best one yet. Okay? But now y'all got to top that one. 510 and counting. Congratulations, Faith. Francisco team, what was behind such a dominant performance? We had a good way to practice, Michelle, uh, both sides of the ball. Good way to play a good opponent. I'm going to pause it right there. Who does he mention, like, in the first three things that he says? Yes. He mentions somebody named Michelle. Okay, that's who he's interviewing. So that's a really sharp skill. That's next level. So um, to know who's interviewing you and to call out their name, that's next level. Okay, what else? He missed what I was trying to get him to say, but that's very good. Yes? The opponent. The opponent. Wow. How many times do you think your opponents? Like, that's, that's next level. Okay? So let me give you an example. Uh, let's say I'm a football player at Tattano County High School, and we're playing Long County this week. That's a true story. Um, let's say... Yeah. I have two options. I can walk around and say, man, Long County ain't no good. They ain't won no games. They trash. Or I can say, you know, Long County, or they're a strong opponent. You know, they have won any games, but they got some really good athletes, and I can tell those kids work hard. And then the result is we beat them on Friday night. Which one makes me look better, if they're bad or if they're good? If they're good and we beat them, that means I'm better, right? So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to go around like middle schoolers like to do sometimes and call people trash and say they're not good at things rather than lifting them up. Peyton Manning, one of the best interviewers that there is, and that's why I chose him. First thing, uh, well, we had a, a strong opponent, and so he had a strong opponent and he beat him. That means he's great. See what I'm saying? So anytime she can recognize your opponent in a competition, that's next level. You're the teacher, he's your classmate, and you've had perfect attendance. A piece of perfect attendance, sorry. This is my student, Santiago. Um, he had perfect attendance. Can you please give him a round of applause? Hi, my name is Mr. Sykes with WTOC Sports. That was an amazing game you just played. You sent the game winning shot at the buzzer. You're a great basketball player. Well, thank you. I can't owe it all to myself. I have to say, my teammates, my coaches, they all helped me with this. Oh, the other team, they were really good and... Very good, the other team, that's key. Everybody's going to do that one. Good job. Way to lead it off, too. Not be scared. What's up, Amazing Shake fans out there? Uh, just wanted to share exactly what's going on. Uh, we've been training all week. We've had our Amazing Shake competitions where we work on our soft skills. Specifically, this week, we've worked on humility, eye contact, body language, and how we can use it to enhance what we say. Um, and also good manners and speaking in a formal, proper tone uh, where people can hear us. So in today's competition, uh, students 
were judged in several factors. As you can see here, uh, first, obviously, humili humility, body language, confidence, eye contact, voice projection, uh, je ne sais quoi, which is just a fancy way of saying kind of the it factor. Do they seem happy to meet you? Um, do they make you like them? And then overall manners. So that's what the competition is, and that's what you're about to see. Cameron Bacon. All right, Cameron's going to join us on stage here at the Scripps National Spelling Bee. Your opponent has just missed his spelling word. If you get this correct, you are the winner. The word is dog. D-O-G. Wow, that was such a hard word. And you made it seem easy. Okay, so Cameron, you have just won the Scripps National Spelling Bee. There are kids here from all over the nation. Uh, and you beat them all. You blew them out of the water. You're a great speller. Thank you. I just want to say thank you to all our family members that helped me achieve my goal. And they helped me get to where I am today. And thank you all for being here. Thank you for all the people that came out to support me. Thank you for all the people that came out to support me. Thank you for all the people that came out to support me. Thank you for all the people that came out to support me. Thank you for all the people that came out to support me. Thank you for all the people that came out to support me. Thank you for all the people that came out to support me. I'm gonna have you stand on that logo there. You're gonna face your birthday party people. Okay, so these judges represent uh, your closest friends and family members, okay? Um, they, some of them have driven for a very long way to be here. This is your birthday party, it's time to go. Maybe you should thank them for coming. I appreciate you for coming to my birthday party. It means a lot to me that you drove all the way from California or whatever, wherever you live. And for all the hours that you spent, I just wanted to say thank you. Good job, Cameron. Coming to the microphone is... Cecilia Davis. Cecilia Davis. Here we go. All right, Cecilia, you're here at the Scripps National Spelling Bee. You've been spelling words all day. To get to this point, the person that you're competing against just missed a word. If you get this correct, you're going to be the winner. The word is... Dog. D O G. Dog. Woo! Great job spelling. That was such a hard word. It sounds so simple. Okay. Uh, you, as here, this is a national spelling competition. You've literally defeated hundreds of children today to get to this point. Uh, you've worked really hard. You're spelling all day. Uh, you're an amazing speller. Thank you. I want to thank my ELA teacher, Mrs. Beth Kennedy, for always telling me. And my parents always told me to study. I'm just really happy that they told me to do more. Thank you, Mr. You're welcome. Come on with me. Good job on scenario one. I'm going to have you stand on this warrior logo here. You're going to face your birthday party people. These judges represent your closest friends and family, some of which have had to drive a great distance to get here for your party. But it's time to go. Maybe you want to thank them for coming. Thank you guys for coming. It means a lot to me, and I really wanted some friends to be with me for this special day. Thank you. Good job, Cecilia. Our next competitor coming to the microphone is... Okay. Emma, you're on stage here at the Scripps National Spelling Bee. You've just... Uh, you, you've been spelling correct, correct words all day. Uh, but the person that you're competing against just missed his word. So if you get this right, you're the champion. The word is dog. D-O-G. Wow, wow. Such a hard word to make it sound so easy. Okay, so uh, great job in the competition today. That was an amazing performance. You literally defeated hundreds of children from across the nation to win this. You're the champion. You're the best. You're an amazing speller. Thank you. You were all from mom and my dad. They really helped me, and they taught me how to do really good. All right, good job. Come on with me to scenario two. I'm going to have you stand on that logo right there. You're going to face your birthday people. These judges represent your closest family and friends. Some of them have traveled from a long way away to get here for your birthday, but it's time for everybody to go. Maybe you want to thank them for, for coming. Thank y'all for coming. It really means a lot to me. And... Thank y'all for letting me have the best birthday party I've ever had. Wow, the best one ever. Our next competitor coming to the microphone is... Joshua Collins. Joshua Collins. 
Okay, Joshua, you're here at the Scripps National Spell and Bee on stage. Everybody's watching. Your competitor just missed his question. If you spell this correctly, you're the champion. The word is dog. D-O-G, dog. Wow! And the repeated of the name. That's really good. He must be a real professional. Okay, St stay there behind the microphone because you're going to talk again. Um, we're here at Scripps National Spell and Bee. It's a national competition. You've literally beat hundreds of kids to be where you are right now as the champion. You're an amazing speller. Thanks, but it really wasn't me. It was actually my teachers teaching me and helping me learn uh, the spelling words. Nice. Come on with me. Good job on scenario one. I'm going to have you stand on that logo right there. And now we're at scenario two. This is your birthday party. These judges represent your closest family and friends. Some of them had to drive a really long way to get here. It's time for everybody to go, though, so maybe you want to tell them thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Um, I appreciate that y'all came, and I'm so happy, but um, I'm sorry that y'all have to go. I can't wait to see y'all again next year. Wow, good job, Hunter. Just now over there. Um, Appreciate y'all giving up y'all's time, putting yourself out there all week. Uh, let's give a special round of applause to these folks who did it for the whole great level. All of them did very well. Thank you. All right, if I call your name, I want you to take about three steps back and get in the center of that backdrop there. If I call your name, if I call your name. Okay, so these are the top four. Top four, I'll call them out right here in no particular order. Cecilia Davis. That's good. Perfect right there. Um, standing next to her would be also making the top four, Emma Hutchinson. Also top four, Cameron Bacon. The final one of top four, Joshua Collins. <laughs> Round of applause for all of these folks as they sit down. Y'all can go back to a seat. Just find a seat. In fourth place, five out of five on humility. Five out of five on body language confidence. Also a five on voice projection and manners. Fourth place, Joshua Collins. Okay, we have uh, a tie for second, third, so I'm going to call out two names, and we're going to clap for them, okay? So we have a tie, both at 29 out of 30 points total. Um, it factor was very high on both of these competitors, so our tie for second place people, joining me right over here very quickly. It's Emma Hutchinson and Cecilia Davis. Come on. That means your winner is Cameron Baker. Uh, he didn't know this, um, but he, not only is he the winner, he did an amazing job. That was a perfect score that the judges gave him. Uh, he did an amazing job, but what he didn't know is now he's going to have to give a winning acceptance speech. Here you go. I'm putting you on the spot one last time. Everyone for showing up and um, <laughs> and pray for everyone to um, get whatever place they got, that they put me first. And I hope everyone who's here have a great day. And I pray for you all. And thank you for coming. One more time. Great job.